This is a tag team bout set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, at a combined weight of 430 pounds, Luther Serpentico Chaos Project. Taz, two of the, uh, I mean, we've got a lot of colorful characters here on the roster in AEW, but two of the more unique individuals. Yeah, I know we've seen them team for quite some time now, and they've had success, and they, they are very unique. And they, uh, you would look at them on, you would think two polar opposites, but yet it works. And, you know, it's just, there's something there. It's, well, there's something missing, I should say. They're both, they're both on. Luther and Serpentico, of course, took on Chris Jericho and Jake Hager on Dynamite a few weeks ago in that celebration of 30 years of Jericho. Now returning to action here tonight. Oh my God, is that private party? Yeah. And their opponents from a location where you need an invitation. At a combined weight of 24 ounces of vodka cranberry, Isaiah Cassidy, Mark Quinn, private party. Taz, private party came extremely close to becoming the number one contenders to FTR's AEW World Tag Team Championship a couple weeks ago. Yeah, definitely tough that they, they didn't capture that victory because it was an amazing opportunity to get points for the number one contendership for the tag team titles. But you know what? It builds character. With your younger athletes like this team, they're a tremendous team. They've had a lot of success already in the early goings in their career, part of AEW. I feel like even a loss, it could definitely it builds character and you know, more fire, more inspiration uh, to make you a tag team champion. You have each other to lean on. You know, see, I'm a nice guy. See, I say nice things. You do, and you know, I, I'm a nice guy. Think, think about when when you were 22, 23 years old. If if somebody oh, I was a heel, but okay. God. But if well, exactly. That's what I, I was about to say the same thing. If somebody somebody told you, even uh, you know, an experienced wrestler, a legend like you, Taz, told him that this is a character building moment that you will recover from this and it will make you better. Right. You would tell him that they're, you don't, you would, yeah, you would be like, I don't want to hear that, but you're right. Years later, you realize it is true. It does build character, but no, you're right. I get your point. That was an excellent arm drag right there by Isaiah, another one. And I think the, the test here, oh wow, Cassidy went for the third, but Serpentico avoided. Oh, now he finally gets it. The test here for, for private party, Taz, will be how do they recover from that loss? Can is it a character building thing, or do they become frustrated and do they regress? Yeah, I, I know that that's that remains to be seen, right? That's going to be interesting. And then you go up against a team like this, that's a very unique team to, to you know prepare for Chaos Project, and now a big, large man Ooh. in Luther, a veteran, so it's tough. The original Death Dealer, Luther. Scoops up Isaiah Cassidy. Cassidy escapes, hits the rope, slides between the legs of Luther, and the single leg drop kick takes down Luther, and Luther immediately tagging out to Serpentico. It was a very odd oh, tag. It was a very odd tag. It was like he. They, yeah, they, they, like they he shared a moment, the, they locked eyes. He handed him his pectoral region and said, Here, let's tag now. It was very odd, but, but that's, you know, that's Luther. He's very odd. Isaiah Cassidy now making the tag out to Mark Quinn. Oh! Yeah, Quinn pump right. kick to the elbow, yeah. Beautiful. That's, I mean, you really could dislocate somebody's elbow. That joint is not meant to bend that way. You see that arm bar bringing, them, bringing Serpentico down. Excellent, excellent job. You want to bring your body weight down on the man's joint. That's a great way to flatten him out. Taz, you ever seen the movie The Incredibles? I don't really watch cartoons, bro. I, I, I'm not into cartoons, you know what I mean? So the answer is I did when I was younger. Oh! I, yeah, yeah, what about it? I know, the little guy with the bean head. <laughs> well, I know the guy. No, no, I was gonna say, there, there's a reason why superheroes don't, don't, in that movie don't wear capes, is because they step on it, they get caught. And I, that's just what I'm thinking about Quinn and those tails. It's like, that's that's a disaster waiting to happen, especially for a high flyer, somebody that, that heads to the top rope so often for Mark Quinn. That's a good point. I mean, I would have done without the Incredibles thing, my opinion, but I digress. But yeah, it's a very good point. Uh, when Serpentico, he's got tails in the front, like kind of a, well, yeah, but a skirt gimmick. They don't they don't interfere with his footwork. I know. This is not, they're short. Manhattan Truth, oh. NC Gary combination. Serpentico blasted. Luther, what to throw the clothesline, double drop kick, stereo drop kicks here from Private Party. And that, you point stereo drop kicks, it was like the timing 
was tremendous. That's the mark of, of an, excellent, the, an excellent team. In the crowd, Frankie Kazarian, a very interested Frankie Kazarian, scouting the competition here in the tag team division. Is he, uh, in, in your estimation, Taz, does he have eyes on uh, Chaos Project or Private Party? Not sure, but I'm not surprised because Kazarian is a, all, as a veteran, successful veteran, he is a student of the game and he's probably just scouting, just scouting other teams, you know, to see uh, what him and, let's say, Daniels, or him and Sky have to do. Oh, no. Crazy, Luther, man. crazy. Wound up and hit a huge clothesline. Oh, he's calling for, calling for one more. <laughs> Luther hits the ropes. Oh, went for the pump kick. Oh, Cassidy hit the big kick. Yeah, Luther's Luther. right. right. Oh, oh, look at the spray hand thing. The spray hand thing, but the waist lock by Luther. German. Released German suplex. Mark Quinn. Obviously very upset, questioning Paul Turner. Well, you, uh, Paul Turner's in a tough spot here. I mean, that's not legal. You got you got confetti streamers, whatever the hell they're called, shooting all over the place. Turner didn't see it happen, but the evidence is all over the ring. You think? And, oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> Almost broke his own partner's neck. What the hell? That was crazy, dude. I don't, I, well, his body didn't hit. It didn't happen, I don't think, the way that Luther wanted to go down, but wow. I'm not sure many things happen the way Luther wants him to go down. Yeah, Luther's wardrobe. Serpentico pops Cassidy up over the top. Covers, no. Smart, you see Serpentico keeps his hand, I, I talk about that a lot, on the wrist control so Cassidy can't get Mark Quinn in to tag in Luther. For as unorthodox as they are, Taz, chaos the project. Sound. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, very technically sound. A great tag team cohesion. Can we get the? Uh, You're the gonna be dangerous. <laughs> Luther given Isaiah Cassidy a facelift there, <laughs> and just trying to grabbing any part, any appendage of Isaiah Cassidy's body. Butterfly suplex. And, uh, Cassidy with a streamer in his, almost down his throat. It's unbelievable. But yeah, that was a snapping like button. Oh no, oh no. Oh, well, watch out. I'm worried for Serpentico yeah. here. <laughs> if I was Serpentico, I'd be like, no, it's all right, dude. We don't have to do this. Got to cover. <laughs> Serpentico, a little angry at himself. He didn't get the win there. And uh, stepping on his hand. Yeah, look at that. Great way to inhibit the mobility, inhibit the ability of Isaiah Cassidy to make a tag out to Mark Quinn. Yeah, that's a, yeah, I mean, I'll tell you what, you can get your fingers broken easily, your wrist broken easily. Somebody's stopping on your hand. Luther with the scoop and the slam. Tagging out Serpent again. This assisted offense. A sent yeah, rocket launcher S, but yeah, sent on it off the top to, with, with an assist from Covered Luther. On two. Very close for for Serpentico right there. Again, see, before the tag, grabbing the ankle, grabbing a limb to keep control of Isaiah to avoid him tagging Quinnen. Taz, if I'm Serpentico, next time Luther tries to do this. Yeah, don't, I would say no, don't, don't. Do You're literally taking twice the punishment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Luther bringing Isaiah Cassidy up to his feet. Serpentico and Luther Ramming Cassidy into the corner. Irish whip. Oh, the elbow avoided by Cassidy. Low bridge sends Serpentico over the top. Had to land on that apron hard. The window of opportunity is open for Isaiah Cassidy. Can he make the crawl? He does. Oh man, Mark Quinn now. He's been amped up to get in this thing. Elbows from Mark Quinn taking Serpentico off his feet. Leg lariat. Puts him down, Luther Wild swinging a miss. Pele kick there. Luther. Maka, yeah, he's mocking Luther. Oh, a second one drops the death dealer. Oof. Boot up into the face. Quinn off the top. Moonsault hooks the leg. One, two, no. Yeah, tight cover there. Serpentico able to kick out. I thought he had him. 
Went delivering the stomps. Just Luther, whoa. And shoving went out a right hand, a close fist to the face of Isaiah Cassidy. Yeah, really, really just jacked up. Oh, went for a drop toll, but didn't happen. But that did the Bulldog, one-handed Bulldog. The Bulldog, I think Cassidy may have lost the grip on the due to the perspiration on the head of Luther, but he still countered with the other hand and drove him down. Wow, look at the leg, the leg flex of the stretch and flexibility of Mark Quinn. Oh, look at this private party. Thinking gin and juice. Love it. Hooks the leg. Two, three. Private party victorious. The winners of this match. Private party. And we see Frankie Kazarian walking off. Let's go. Not even, I mean, he's got his back turned to the ring. I guess Kaz has seen all he's needed to. Yeah, match ended. He hightailed it out, just left. So, yeah, you're right. How much more do you need to see, right? You don't need any the music for you to dance, but here's the gin and juice. Tremendous, tremendous duo move right there. Love it. Timing of this thing's amazing. Impactful, surpassing. Has no shot to kick out. Taz, you hit the nail on the head. It's the leaping ability, the agility of Mark Quinn, the timing of Isaiah Cassidy. Can Private Party respond to adversity? We will find out in the coming months and years.